Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials, and today we are going to talk about monitoring effects. The monitoring effects window is a really powerful feature that I think only exists in Reaper. I've never seen it in other DAWs, but let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. Don't be a dick about it though. Regardless, we should be really happy that it exists in Reaper and let me show you why and how and who and all of that stuff. So first of all, to see your monitoring effects, if you've never used it before, it's a bit of a weird kind of setup in Reaper, at least as far as I know it. What you gotta do is go to file and go to new project tab and open a new project tab. And when you do, you'll get this little tab action up here. And then on the other side, you will see your monitoring effects, which if you have nothing on it, will show nothing, but I do have some stuff on it. And then you can click on it and you will open your monitoring effects. For convenience, another thing that I've done is that I've bound this action to F12. It's edge meal toggle show monitoring effects chain. So I can just hit F12 to open and close this. But another thing you can do is once you have a tab open, you can right click here. And then at the very bottom, you can say force project tabs visible when monitoring effects in use. And that'll actually keep it visible. So even if I close this tab and I just have a single tab, I will always be seeing this little strip or you really don't have to do this as long as you have a handy little hotkey right here. So first, let's quickly talk about where monitoring effects sit in the Reaper signal path. This is from a free image I have called the entire Reaper signal path, which you can download from the link below in the description. And as you may already know, the master track in Reaper can route to any number of hardware outputs and the monitoring effects sits between these outputs and the digital to analog converter of your audio interface. Monitoring effects also takes audio in from the media player in the media explorer window, as well as any hardware output sends you may have on your individual tracks. Finally, monitoring effects sits after the render stage. If you do any renders of the master mix or tracks and items via your master track. In other words, monitoring effects will hear and process any bit of audio in Reaper, but they will not be included in any of your renders. So how can you use that? Well, one use for this is any kind of headphone correction software that you may be using, like the Sonarworks version, or there's a lot of them. If there is any kind of corrective EQing you need to do based on your room, all that stuff you can put in the monitoring effects section. What normally people would do, you know, back in my day in Pro Tools and stuff, was that you put stuff like that on the master track, and then before you rendered, you would just bypass those. The problem is some of the times you would forget, and then you would render your mix with those corrective EQs in place, you would send it to the cloud, Client, client hates it, says this sucks. You get angry because by this point, you don't remember that you didn't bypass them. You think they're insulting your mixing skills. So you say, fuck you, they say, fuck you, you're fired. And suddenly you're doing heroin under a bridge. So anytime there's a workaround where it's like, oh, we'll do this, but remember to do that before you render, it's like, you're gonna forget and you're gonna get yourself in trouble. So that's where monitoring effects comes in. You can just put it here and you will be hearing it as you do your mixes or whatever it is that you're doing, but they will not be part of your render. So you will not have to remember to bypass them before you render, which is awesome. Yet another cool thing with monitoring effects is that they are global. So once you put whatever in your monitoring effects window, those effects will be also put in any other project that you open in Reaper. So again, in the case of the Sonarworks stuff, you don't have to open every project and put that plugin on your project. You just do it once, make your measurements, do all the things you need to do, and then that's there forever. So some of the stuff that I have here are, for example, the loudness meter. Now I do have the loudness meter on my master track as well, and that's because I want to embed it. So if you put Reaper's JS loudness meter on your master track or any other track, you can right click on it and say show embedded UI in MCP. And that'll put this little thing here where when I play my project, it immediately starts measuring my loudness and I can see that without having to open any extra windows. So that's kind of nice, but I do have one of those here as well. Why not? I also have the Psyche Spectral Analyzer. And this thing is my favorite spectral analyzer. It's free. You can resize it to literally any size you want. You can go up to 4K, 5K, change the colors, all kinds of things you can do with this. And really deserves its own tutorial. You can show phase, all kinds of cool things. So lovely thing, I always have it on my monitoring effects. 
Next is a Gonio meter or whatever it is uh, by two comp plugins. And this is a correlation meter, which is really nice. And a Gonio meter that you can rescale to check for, you know, mono compatibility issues and things of that nature in your mixes. And you can change the speed as well. Really lovely. And finally, I have the Audio Movers Listen To plugins, and this is for when I'm doing any kind of remote collaboration. So really, you can put whatever you want on your monitoring effects. Not a lot of people put actual effects like a reverb or a delay here, but I don't know, could be useful in some situations. And the last thing I'll show you is that you can also put video effects on your monitoring effects chain. And if you do video editing, again, the same rules apply. You will see them when you want to, but they won't be in your final render of your videos. This is something I learned from John Tidy's Reaper blog video editing course that I found really, really useful. Tons of great information as well as tons of really useful downloads. All this stuff comes from there and you can download it if you buy it. And I think right now John is having a summer sale. So I'll put a link to the course in the description. And if you want to see Reaper as a video editing program, I highly recommend you check that out. So that was a brief overview on monitoring effects. I hope you enjoyed this video. I showed the diagram earlier of the Reaper signal path. It's part of a much bigger image that outlines in a lot of detail the entire signal path of Reaper. You can download it for free on my website. Uh, so I'll put a link to that as well. I, I think it's pretty useful. Check all of that out. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you very soon. Bye.